Breaking Bad has one of the best character transformations in TV history. We watch Walter White go from a weak looking pushover to a powerful presence who commands respect. A guy opens his door and gets shot and you think that of me? No, I am the one who knocks. While you definitely don't want to be like Walt in every way, there are four habits you can learn from him to look and feel extremely confident in any situation. You're goddamn right. And even though Breaking Bad is a scripted TV show, all the psychology covered in today's video will apply to your actual life. The first thing Walt did to stop looking weak was learn to project confidence with his body language. We see this for the first time when he stands up to a guy who's bullying his disabled son. I'll mess you up, man. Well, you'll have one shot. You better make it good. Huh? What are you waiting for your girlfriends? You better go. You better go. Take it. Take your shot. Even though the odds are against him, he projects that he's confident he's going to win. But be careful here. This is an area where you don't want to blindly copy Walt. You won't command respect by starting fights or taunting people. You'll just seem like a jerk and you might get your ass kicked. What you can learn from Walt is his eye contact during conflict. Walt projects massive confidence because in high pressure situations, he holds eye contact. If you think that I am capable of doing this. Walt seems to have a pretty clear rule for eye contact during conflict. Don't break first. Here's an example. Stay out of my territory. Now there's nuance to this. If you never break eye contact during conflict, you risk creating more hostility. In real life, any of these situations could easily result in you getting badly hurt. This is why most people make submissive eye contact, often breaking to look down, because they fear conflict. Walt originally had submissive eye contact, and you'll notice it gives you a very different impression of who he is. What's she talking about? Walt? Mm -hmm. If you want to diffuse tension without looking weak or creating more hostility, hold eye contact for three to four seconds and then break to the side instead of down. Beyond eye contact, actor Brian Cranston has actually gone on record saying there was one small physical change he made to transform the impression you get of Walt. He simply stood with his shoulders back and his chest out. It seems like a small change, but those little tweaks to eye contact and posture give you a much more powerful presence. Beyond body language, you can also command more respect by changing how you speak. Part of what makes Walt look nervous early on is when he speaks very quickly. Like here, when he's nervous, he'll get caught by his wife. Did you, man? Call in sick. Uh, listen, uh, that is just not going to work for me. I'm, I'm not interested in that at all. And uh, I would appreciate it if you don't call here anymore. Contrast that with these next two clips where Walt's more confident. He has a slow speaking cadence and uses pauses between words to hold attention. The pause is the moment when you're not speaking, and ironically, that's the moment that pulls people in. Specifically, if you pause at the moment, people most want to hear what you have to say. In your position, I would have done the same. Jesse, you asked me if I was in the meth business or the money business. Neither. I'm in the empire business. Now, speaking like this is much easier to do if you genuinely feel confident. So how can you actually be more confident in situations that normally make you nervous? And why is it believable to the audience that Walter White can go from a chemistry teacher with no confidence to someone who's able to stay confident while he's surrounded by gangsters ready to kill him? Why don't you start talking and tell me what you want? $50,000. <laughs> 35 for the pound of meth you stole and another 15 for my partner's pain and suffering. If you haven't watched the show, Walt recently learned he has terminal cancer. Now that he knows he's dying, he feels he has nothing to be afraid of. It might not seem like it, but this is actually something we can all learn from, hopefully in a safer, healthier way than cooking meth, because we're all going to die eventually. This is one of Stoic philosophy's most important teachings. Memento mori, remember you will die. This isn't meant to depress you, but to help you build Stoic courage to live life fully. If you remember your time on earth is short, it can free you to take the risk, approach the beautiful person in the bar, ask for the promotion, quit the job you hate. Don't be reckless, but live the life you want while you have the chance. Building stoic confidence can be as simple as setting a phone reminder each morning to meditate on memento mori for just a few minutes. Ask yourself, how would you live differently if you knew you were going to die in five years? What about one year? What about one week? You don't have to start living like you're going to die in a week, but it can help you find the confidence to prioritize what's important and stop putting off the life you really want to live. Now, while Memento Mori is the reason Walt can be so calm under pressure, that mindset alone wouldn't have helped him survive for long in the meth world. And especially after his cancer goes into remission, Walt definitely does not want to die. You see this in season three, his life is threatened and he does not stay calm. If I could just talk to Gus, no. I know I can make him understand, please. If no. I could talk to Gus, Walter. I can I can convince him, okay? Just let me, please, please, please let me talk to him. Shut up. Shut up. 
The context here is that Walt's bosses have found a new meth cook. Now that they don't need Walt, they're going to kill him. But watch how the power dynamic shifts once Walt sends his partner Jesse to kill the new meth cook. Just what the hell was that exactly? You might want to hold off. Yeah? Why? Because your boss is going to need me. 6353 Juan Tabo, apartment 6. This highlights the real reason Walt was able to be fearless for so much of Breaking Bad. He's irreplaceable. He makes the best meth and everyone knows it. You all know exactly who I am. Say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. It's Walt's confidence and his irreplaceable skill that give him power and respect in almost every situation. And while Breaking Bad is a fictional show, that dynamic is very real. If your employer or clients think you're irreplaceable, they'll do anything to keep you. This is true in a romantic partnership as well. The frustrating part for many people is what actually makes someone irreplaceable. It often doesn't seem fair. The hardest worker doesn't always get promoted, and the nicest person doesn't always get the most dates. That's because for most people, getting what you want in life is actually a mix of two things, your ability and your ability to make people like you and respect you. That's the power of charisma. When you have it, the world suddenly opens up for you. If that's something you want, you may like our program, Charisma University. It's a 30-day step-by-step guide to massively improving your charisma and confidence. Past members have said things like, I am way more confident now having gone through the daily action guides, and I can see a big difference in the attention and respect that I get. It makes life so much more fun. I don't think it's an overstatement to say charisma is literally a gateway to getting anything you want in life, so thank you for making Charisma University. I don't have a bachelor diploma, yet they want me to fill this position, and when asked why, this was the answer. You have great social skills, which is rare for an engineer, you can think quick on your feet, and you are open and self-assured. Thank you so much for all that you have taught me. You have truly changed my life, because without CU, I wouldn't have qualified for that position in a million lifetimes. Life-changing. In six weeks, I went from being socially awkward with few friends to the life of every event that I attend. I also went from having serious girl problems to dating the girl of my dreams. The program is literally guaranteed to change your life. That means you can take the entire course, and if you don't think it's worth every penny, you can give yourself a full refund from right inside the program. If you want to see if Charisma University is right for you, click the link on screen now or in the description below. We've had thousands of people improve their lives with Charisma University, and we would love for you to do the same. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch it, and I hope to see you in the next one.